thanks for all those kind words. Um, Look at you have the same accent as Joe. Yeah. Thanks for all the yeah. can work. That's I'm beautiful. getting woozy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to know how Joe got off up there and got away from Bruce, Mississippi. Well, you know, it's hard, Johnny. And my dad was one of seven, and uh, he's the only one that got this far. And, and I guess I, I heard a rumor, and I don't know if this is true. We'll talk True Detective in a minute, but I think you knew my Aunt Anne when you were. Did he uh, and your Aunt Anne have a thing? I don't know. I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there either. <laughs> just check check the back of the water tower. Are the you saying, up there? just for correct, just to, to be clear, are you saying you're not going there again, or are you saying you oh, never well, went there? Uh, well, uh, I might. <laughs> He's like you. He won't give <laughs> a direct might, answer. Maybe might well, could have. Well, might. Yeah, I, I tell you, with the Internet, boy, it's amazing uh, how many people have come up that um, – that you that I knew at one time at one time wow all the way back to the first grade well my dad my dad was just down there and he said you know the guy on true detective and we watch it and my dad watched it and we loved it he says you know he's from this part of the country and he said that uh, you guys grew up about the same time i think you were more my aunt's age but that's what made me think and especially after i saw these episodes what a great performance you put in i said we got to talk to you oh yeah it, it's um Fantastic experience for me, and um, a lot of luck and just a little talent got me there, and a tremendous amount of help from the people in Calhoun County, Bruce, Oxford, all over Mississippi. Uh, I'm just so gratified. It, it, people can say they got there on their own, but they don't. I mean, I've had support from the beginning um, here in Oxford. Uh, first time I went on stage, scared to death. Wow. And people kept supporting me and say, go get them. And my curiosity actually got me how, what got me into this business, being from a, from a small town of Bruce, Mississippi, and an even smaller cotton farm. Uh, I just, uh, when I turned 50, I just got my curiosity struck in, stuck mm. in, and um, I wondered what this business was all about. And so, so, so out, found out. <laughs> Johnny, tell tell that story if you first off, you picked cotton. I mean, that's that was your your life was uh, picking cotton as a youth. You worked in factories and sawmills. You were a labor organizer, and you're 50 years old, and you're sitting in a uh, was it a, 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 a cup of coffee at Smitty's in downtown Oxford, I right. read, and and you're sitting there, and what happens? Well, um, casting director, I guess, was in there. And uh, <clears throat> just looking around, she came back and said, you've got this incredible face. And if you ever thought about being in film, and I said, heck yeah. And so anyway, uh, I got... Uh, now, now, when someone does that, by the way, mm-hmm. uh, I guess if you're a 50-year-old guy, it's not the same as if you're a 20-year-old gal. Uh, but, <laughs> you have an incredible face. Have you ever considered being in film? My father hey, hey. warned me about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People ask me why I didn't start acting earlier. See, I got this weather-beaten face, and I tell them I was way too good-looking ah. to get in film. <laughs> Johnny, what, now, I've, I've seen pictures of these guys on Duck Dynasty. From their past, they're all yuppie, eyes-odd, shirt-wearing golf players. <laughs> Is this a real look, or did you did you scruff it up for the, for the, for the uh, career? Oh no, boy, that, that farm work scrupped it up for me. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough you. life. So the farm work and being outdoors and under the blazing sun and picking and doing all of that, you have a, you have a real weathered face. The makeup department doesn't have to do it. In fact, they got to make sure they don't smooth it out. Oh, that's that's true. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't do makeup now. Mm-hmm. For um, True Detective, they set me in makeup and um, for a long length of time with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, and they took. They made him a wig to match my hair. Huh. So anytime you're watching the episodes that that he has the long hair. So they looked at you and they said, how can we make Matthew look as weathered as this guy? And they said, let's make him blend like the, like yeah. they're from the same part of the world. Right. Well, supposedly, well, he is a Texas guy, really, you know, nice guy, best I've ever worked with. Really? He's the yeah. smartest and incredible actor but uh see they wanted to show the passage of time and supposedly the back story is that he has been working in my bar for uh two years 
And don't give me too much. I haven't watched no, those no, two I, episodes yet. No, I'm, we I'm won't get very spoiled. upset. No, that's all. That's all. In <laughs> yeah. That, so. But but I already knew that that he that he has because we ever was wondering what he was up to because of the flashbacks and the flash forwards, yeah. and he was working in your bar. Now uh, you said by the way that he was an incredibly smart guy and that he stayed in character even when they weren't shooting the scenes and he would sit in the corner and work with his scripts. In other words, oh, there was yeah. no downtime when he was shooting, right? Right, and it's. Uh... I don't know of any other actor that I've ever met that could memorize all those lines. I mean, you know the words, the way it's written. It's uh, It was amazing to me. But he would break character occasionally to make me feel more comfortable, I suppose, and reach over and put his hand on me and talk about family or a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Did he ever say, uh, did he ever say, all right, all right, all right, or anything like that? <laughs> no. No. But he did take off his shirt a time or two. Oh, no, he did. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Is he put back on the pounds? Because he was looking pretty skinny there for a while for that uh, other movie. Yeah, he was. He, he had it back on by the time I came on. Uh, I think some of those earlier scenes, he had the, was trying to put on a little weight uh, there because I think they delayed for a while. Hmm. Now, we're not going to give away spoilers, Johnny, but I will okay. say there are a couple scenes where it's just you and Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson, very important scenes, and it's just you three. I want to know how it feels to be sharing the, the screen with those two, and also, you never say a word. I'm not going to give anything well, away here, but you never say a word in this, and I don't need to know the exact dollar figure, but... You're not an extra by any means. You're, but you're, to the penny. Oh, no, no, I was treated yeah. as an equal. Right, you're an equal. By, but By them and by the director, wow. by the whole company. It was really quite embarrassing uh, how they how I was treated. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, actually, I did, uh, did have some lines. But, see, that's the part of the mystery they created by cutting those lines. Uh. And it makes them wonder about me, what I am, and, you know, as he, you know, as all kind of questions comes up, was I his father? Mm -hmm. How did he get there? And that was just part of creating the mystery. But I'll tell you this. <laughs> you know, Robert Domain comes out like gangbusters in that last one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. No question right now about I'm, not, I'm hearing spoilers. Yeah, right? don't, well, say, don't say anything about I'm the last episode. Say, oh, no, I'm not, no, no, I'm not going to say. Listen, if you want to give me a spoiler, that. tell me exactly to the penny how much they paid you. <laughs> uh, <No>. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, you probably better not. <laughs> okay. I, I'm telling you, it was incredible. All right. Now, it was oh, incredible here. how much they, probably more than I've made my entire lifetime of acting. Uh, wow. I got a, I got a van out here I called the HBO van. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I got a van out of it. It's like the 18. Yeah. This this yeah. uh this show was so popular they broke the internet Sunday, Johnny, when they played I, I know. it. <laughs> so, we were we were trying to have a party over there and oh I, I, I tell you this is what's the most interesting thing, how everything just lit up. Um uh, I got a friend that's a merchant seaman. He lives in McLean, Australia. And he called me. And he said that that little town, that they were having viewing parties. In he Australia. Said, famous in uh, Australia, Johnny, but it's all over the world. Mm. This is the most amazing thing. It's probably, they'll probably plan it for the next 10 years, I'm sure. Well, and, uh, that's a question, so. uh, by the way, uh, Johnny. Um, they, they'll certainly do more, but I, as I was reading, they may do them with different characters. In other words, they may create other true detective series with different stars because they won't be able to get Matthew McConaughey or Woody Harrelson, or Woody Harrelson but again. But what about you? Johnny McPhail. Uh, yeah. I, think he, I think Dick could slip me in there. That could slip you <laughs> in. Yeah. Because yeah, even at more money well. than you've ever made before, you're still relatively <laughs> in, uh, uh, lower than probably yeah, Matthew yeah. McConaughey. And I yeah. work for a lot less than yeah. they Hey, Johnny, they I, will. I read that you were a, were you a, a small part in A Time to Kill? Um... Let's see, a time to kill. Yeah, I was probably background or something in that. Um, uh, that let's see. That's a John Grisham film, and Matthew McConaughey oh, yeah. plays a Southern oh, yeah, lawyer. Yeah, yeah, right. I remember now down down there. I I, I got in it. I didn't have a speaking role in that, but. Right. Uh, and Matthew but McConaughey looked entirely different back then. He was in all those chick comedy flicks. <laughs> Rip, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, yeah, he did. He changed. 
changed his style a lot yeah. in acting and, and otherwise. He's after it now. If somebody had told you that day when you are just a face in the crowd that you were going to get to sit and be a, a co-star with Matthew McConaughey in a major successful project like this, would you have believed him? Oh, no. I, I, could, I mean, this is beyond anything. When, when we went to Sundance with Ballast and won all those awards, that was just, to most actors, that is going to Sundance and winning is close to winning an Academy Award. That's mm. probably second. And I never dreamed that would happen, too. And so this is still like a dream to me in the last two or three days. Hey, I'm on this famous talk radio show. There you go. <laughs> you can't beat that now. Can't beat that well, with a stick. And no. you're going to get offers. Any temptation to leave Oxford now? I mean, you're. Oh, no, no. This is the best place to be, see? Yeah. There's By the way, the... you do auditions from home. You have a little room lit up and you have lighting and you can yeah. actually audition on the internet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, absolutely. I can be in front of anybody and casting director within minutes. And then you could be right at your local coffee shop waiting for someone else to come in. <laughs> yeah, I sent by the phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, they're doing so many. Uh, a lot of the TV shows now are being filmed in Atlanta, and I'm about five hours from there. And then, oh, God, New Orleans is just about to get ahead of uh, or Louisiana, of Hollywood. And uh, then I got uh, Shreveport. They do a lot there, and I'm an equal distance from all those places. Equidistant from all the great film locations of the South. Johnny <laughs> oh, McPhail. Yeah, right. Started on a cotton farm in Ellard and now on hey. the hottest show on the planet, True Detective. Y'all forgot to mention I milk cows by hand. You did that too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, I've, I've done that a little bit myself, Johnny. Yeah, absolutely. And there's no way to make your hands look that weathered without actually <laughs> right. milking cows. Yeah, right. take up the and, and you are on Facebook, too, if people want to follow your career, right? Hey. Hey, yeah, listen, I want to invite everybody to get on Facebook.